example, we have this flight plan right here from this OTBD airport and then to this first waypoint as ASP, Safia, Shamal, Alcor, and then to Patton. So for, say for example, this, there has been a change of plan and you no longer want to need this leg from Alcor to Patton. What you're going to do is just come here with the FMS knob, the big one, you go to Patton and then sensor clear, press it, remove pattern, click enter and voila, the point is removed. Same, say for example now you would like uh, to be instead of pattern, you go to Mirex, this way point over here. There are a couple ways of doing that. You can just, with the small knob, Keep turning the knob until you get the the name. So M first, and then with the bigger one, go one space to the right, and then near X, India. And then again, the bigger knob. That's Mirex over there. It is a waypoint. So click enter. And voila, we have the leg from Alcor direct to Mirex. And now I'm going to be showing you how to delete a flight plan in the air. So, say for, for example, you no longer want to fly IFR or even VFR with a flight plan, you just want to delete your flight plan in the air, it's easy to do it. Just make sure you select flight plan. This is our flight plan for today. Go to menu with the knob, the bigger knob, the FMS one. Come here to delete flight plan. Press enter. Delete all waypoints in flight plan. Okay, enter. And voila, the flight plan has been deleted. Couldn't be simpler. So, first of all, we have the MFD here. You come here to flight plan and say for example we need to create a new user waypoint you come here new waypoint and this we have user waypoint information so you can name it whatever you want so for the sake of this video let's make it Zulu Papa Charlie, just a random name, okay? And then select enter. So you have two choices. Either the waypoint will be identified as a radio and distance from a nav aid, mostly a VOR, or with coordinates. Or that long. So we have radio, radio from two uh, VORs, radial distance, or that long depending on what kind of information and identification of the waypoint you guys have you go with the, uh, the choice so say for example I'm gonna keep it for radial and distance enter and then you have here in the comments which nav aid it is so say for example we have the DIA VOR and the And here you select the radio, say three, four, zero. And for distance, just for the sake of the video, let's make it ninety. Okay. So just make sure if you want the the waypoint to be permanent in the in the G one thousand database. Make sure you don't click, you don't tick this box here. Temporary, 
if you click it after you shut down the waypoint will be gone just keep it and take it and then enter load way, waypoint flight plan say enter and we have Zulu Papa Charlie waypoint here so now let's say if this check if it is already stored in the flight plan so flight plan here we are the Zulu Papa Charlie waypoint thank you guys for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you.